This is my two and a half kilowatt hour battery, which is about 18 kilo, I think. Now the BMS is broken, so I've got a new one as a backup, just in case. Yeah, freshener. This is my two and a half kilowatt hour battery, which has had quite a bit of use. It's now got quite a bit of dust on it. As you know, the BMS is broken, so I've got to take it apart. And I can't remember how, to be honest. The BMS is playing up, as you know, so I've got a spare one just in case. I actually I bought this from the UK. Now the price of this, if you work it out the amount of import duty that you probably be able, that you, you'll probably have to pay, it worked out cheaper to be honest than actually buying it from China. Found it on eBay. There you go. So somehow, and I can't remember how, I've got to get this apart, and I'm going to finish it off properly this time. Not the half hour attempt that I did last time. So. And I'm also going to put my new phone holder on that I did about six months ago. <laughs> Here we go. Because it's 12 months since I built this, I can't remember how I put it together. I think there's a bolt, I know there's a bolt in there, and I think there's one in there. This is one of those points where I can't actually show you what I'm doing because of the angle that I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to tip it up on its end and put it on the side of the table. From what I can remember, oh, there's the bolt, the bolt's under there, so... Yeah, this isn't going to be very easy, is it, Tony? Didn't design this very well, did you, you dickhead? I'm not going to be able to show you anything about this, but here's the BMS, which is in the middle at the bottom at the minute. Uh, I've checked the voltage on the battery. I've got 74 volts. So the BMS is definitely toast. But because I remember now, you can't really see, can you? I hardwired all the cells in. Now the new BMSs, sis, 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 the new BMSs have got different connectors on them, uh, which are actually locking type connectors. One of the one of the problems I had is they kept coming out. So it's looking like I've got to completely 100% strip the whole bloody battery down. Here's the two halves of the battery. Here's the BMS, and there's nothing on it, I've, I've had to cut the bloody balance wires off because that's the way I did it there is nothing obviously burnt anywhere on it absolutely nothing so I don't know why it ain't working bit of a shame and never mind I have a new one what I'm going to do is cell number six which is on this side I've had to la label all the wires up, all the balance leads Cell number six on this side, I'm going to have to take apart, or I'm going to have to take this side of the battery apart to find out why cell number six was always low. I used a lot of screws call it over engineering whatever now this should just 
Mm. This should list lift off. Da -da. Everything looks all right. There's been no no wear on it. So cell number six. I don't know where it is. I've got to take this out now, haven't I? This should just come out. I know it was it was all made very very tight in here. There's one half of the battery. Now what? <laughs> Cell number six, which was, so we have one, six. Right, cell number six is part of that one and part of that one. That ain't gonna be very easy to diagnose. When I say cell number six was always low, what used to happen was the discharge rate, the discharge rate was fine. It was only when I was, when I'd leave it and it used to settle it, it used to be around about, what, five or six millivolts low. Also, people have asked me about this battery connector, this battery, um, this is the series wire. You can see how I've split these and I've shared the load down here between all of those uh, was it six parallel? Between all of those six parallel cells, I've split the wires to, to, to even the load out. If you just connect it to one positive, you get a massive surge of current on just the one connector, so it's always best to load them. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't think I'm going to do it. Purely because, I mean, this was built as a one-off, that's it, it ain't going to come apart again. But it has been working perfectly, I don't know, I don't think I want to disturb it, to be honest, because it's such a tight fit in that case. And there's no wear on that at all. So, I think... <laughs> I'm not going to bother. Really what I wanted to do, um, version 4... I, I don't know what to do, I don't know whether to build a new bike or expand on the one that I've got because the one I've got is as close to bloody perfect as I'm going to get. It does absolutely everything right. Now what I wanted to do was break the 100 mile an hour barrier and also 100 mile range but not both at the same time. Now the only way I could do it is expand on the battery. Now the the where the where the battery where the battery lays down on the bike the crossbar is up here obviously now when this lays down there is still quite a lot of room probably down to about here that I could actually get probably another on both sides I think it was about 16 or 18 cells so I could actually build another battery but I don't know yet. Don't mess with something that already works. Don't try and fix it. It works. It's a bit low on that cell. I'm not bothered.